Okay, are you kidding me? I just... Uh, how low can these people go? The latest thing I just saw on Facebook is a week ago, they started a new organization at the CPAC called Jexodus. National spokesperson Elizabeth Pipko, a 23-year-old model turned activist and former Trump campaign staffer, has, uh, they've got this group going, she's the spokeswoman for it, for Jews to leave the Democratic Party in a jexodus. It's reportedly the brainchild of Jeff Balaban, a Jewish Republican operative and an advisor to Trump's presidential campaign. Jexodus. Democrats hate Jews, so you all need to come to the Republican Party. Okay. <laughs> so if you are Jewish, listen up. It is time for the great Jexodus. <laughs> I mean, how ridiculous is this? Is Trump going to get any play with this Jexodus? Yes, I know all Democrats hate Jews. We just, you know, it's... <laughs> Oh, most ridiculous thing ever. Most ridiculous thing ever. I, ju I just, I can't believe the crap they come up with. I cannot believe the crap that they come up with. It's just absolutely mind-boggling to see. Exodus. Craziness, craziness, craziness. Yeah, first card out is sorrow. I mean, I, I'm sure there's a lot of people really unhappy to see them using a whole race of people, you know, in this manner to say such ridiculous things. Sorrow. Yeah, temperance. Need to take it with a grain of salt. Princess of Wands. Earth of Fire. Oh, yeah. That girl's going to be out there really trying to stir people up and, and bring people in. Oh my God. Let me see what else we have. Cause this is like really crazy. This is like crazy. I'll show you the cards in just a second with this temperance. Hangman. Yeah, 
so when we have the, the top one looking at this stuff, it's like, uh, I don't know why we got sacrifice. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Yeah, they'll do anything. Okay, above it, Prince of Discs. It's about, you know, how can the Republicans get ahead in, in by doesn't matter what means. We have the devil card, okay. Il diavolo, the devil, okay. We've got the nine of swords. Cause hate, cause destruction, cause that thing, sacrifice anything to get ahead. We don't care, okay. Anything. We'll do any down and dirty to get ahead. Doesn't matter. Okay. So this is causing, you know, a lot of sorrow. I think it's, you know, sorrow with people just this, to see this kind of ridiculous thing. You know, temperance. It's like trying to, to hold on and then it's a hangman. It's like... You know, they're trying to hang things up. They're trying to sway things. But this is absolutely crazy. We've got this woman out there stirring up that energy, trying to drag people along with her to, to join in this craziness. And again, you know, trying to disarm people, trying to... Uh, Overwhelm trying to, the Five of Swords, trying to overwhelm things. Oh, Five of Wands, you know, again, putting all that energy of disruption out there. Then we have the Lust card. Now, this Lust card is basically the card of the devil here, Lust Lusting after power, no matter what. And we have the Rota della Fortuna, the card of the wheel. Karma card, wheel. This little act is going to gain them some karma. Okay? It's a dark act. It's 100% just dark. Okay? Princess of Cups, out there to stir the emotions of people. This is using whatever dark method they can. They don't care about the karma. They don't care about it. Just stir up the, stir it up for people. Stir up that hate. Stir up whatever you can. Unbelievable, these people. Last but not least, we have, ooh, how'd that come out? Okay. Knight of Swords. Yeah, just charging forward with this nonsense. Embattled. You know? Don't care. Charge forward. Be embattled. And put out there something that you know, people are not going to want to uh, have. It's like the card of being offered something you don't want. So be stupid. Rush out there. Fight that fight. Take the blows. Okay? And offer something that people don't want. <laughs> Brilliant. That's it. Go under the devil and do the, the lust, power, greed, 
and get your karma. That's fabulous. Okay. Stir up those emotions. Okay. Preach hate. Put out there the hate. Use a pretty girl to do it. Okay. To sit there and try to gather all these people together. You know, through sp spreading all of this destructive energy out there. Destructive energy. And what you get is a lot of pain. Hopefully there'll be another enough people that see the ridiculous snub of it. They'll have the temperance. They'll be, you know, kind of putting water on it and... Hangman, it's not going to go far, but they're going to do it anyway. It's not going to go anywhere. And they're going to get karmic stuff from it. Because it's all, eventually it's going to come back on them. Yeah, use these dark ways to, to cause this. Or maybe they're hoping that this this angst they causes to Jewish people in the uh, Democratic Party, okay? Because it's all about money, all about their opportunity in the world. Okay, unbelievable. It's just, you can't believe the lows that these people will stoop to. They have no, uh, they have no morality, no ethics, no, nothing of value anywhere there. This is like looking into the dark chasm of the hell realms. When you look into the Republican Party every day, I can't believe they get worse and worse, lower and lower. How, how low can they go? Unbelievable. That's it. Stir up, stir up hate. Stir up fear. Stir up. <laughs> Democrats all hate you. They hate Israel. They hate, they hate Jewish people. Everybody, leave. <laughs> Have a Jew exodus. Come over to the Republican Party because we all love you over here. <laughs> of course, you know, all the white supremacists that were on, they're all good people. So, <laughs> yeah, that's how much they love that. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. We really need to clean this up. So I can say we really need, there is so much that needs to be done to be cleaned up. Okay. Thank God we're getting new people in and new energy into the house. And hopefully when the next president gets in there, there is so much work to be done. So whatever we need, I don't care who it is, we need the Democratic to get behind them to get these Republicans out and we need to vote them out of office so we can start changing things, okay? We need to get them out of the House, out of the Senate. We need to get them out so some stuff can be changed, okay? So I'm going to leave this here, but I'm just like, I can't believe I saw this. Jexodus. I, I swear, I think I'm living in the freaking twilight zone. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to leave this here. Have a good day. See you online. Aho.